Greetings lovelies, hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another Emmy Eats. Today I'll be eating Sweden once again. If you missed my first installment of Emmy Eats Sweden, I'll point you down to the description box where I'll put a link to Emmy Eats Sweden part one. I received this package from a viewer named Jesper. Thank you so much Jesper for sending me this package of Swedish treats and for being patient for your video. In my first Emmy Eats Sweden video, I had Mandel Bixvier and so he sent me some more. Thanks! What's interesting about the package that Jesper sent me is that he sent me a bunch of little cakes and cookies. They're made by the Dele Soto company that you can buy in vending machines. As instructed by Jesper, I put these in the freezer and then I let them come to room temperature. So he said they should be fine. Dele Soto ball. It smells like chocolatey, but it smells kind of like coffee. It's quite large. It's maybe the size of a big golf ball. And it looks like it's covered in maybe coconut or chopped almond. Itadakimasu. Hmm. Boy, that's so good. It tastes a little bit like mocha. There's like a little bit of a coffee flavor in there to me. And it has a really nice kind of dense but not overly heavy texture. It has a similar kind of texture like a brownie, but not so sticky and certainly not as sweet. There's a little bit of a gritty texture in the middle. I'm not sure if that's kind of um, crystallized sugar in there. I don't think I've ever had anything like that before. It's great. Punch rula. Punch rula. Look how gorgeous that is. It's this beautiful kind of matcha green color, and the ends are dipped in chocolate. Mmm. 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 This has a almost like a marzipan paste, uh, almond paste on the outside. Then the inside is very much similar to the della Soto ball I had earlier. Kind of a crumbly, dense center. The flavor is completely different. It has more of a rummed flavor to it. Definitely has some alcohol, I think, in there. But quite nice. Boom! There it is. <laughs> there he is, I should say. This one's called Biscuit which I believe just means biscuit. This too looks like it's enshrouded in chocolate. It's got a little bit squished, but let's give that a taste. Mm-hmm. Oh my. It reminds me a little bit of a crembo, which I had in Israel. It has this kind of light, fluffy, not really a marshmallowy center, but similar kind of light and fluffy sweetened top. And then it has a cookie on the bottom. The crembo's top is much taller. I'll point you down to the description box so you can find that link. Um, but similar kind of idea. When you first bite into it, it's very soft and mousse-like. And then you get a kind of tender cookie underneath. Mmm. The cookie is quite sweet. And I believe it's vanilla. And the top is a chocolate kind of mousse. But very fun. Much sweeter, I think, than the other two that I had. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of a s'more, kind of that graham crackery chocolate marshmallow combination, but still different. Halum Grota. And this one is a fruit filled one. Cute! It comes in a little cupcake wrapper, pink and flowered, and in the middle has a little jam. It smells great. It smells kind of buttery. Here we go. Hmm. It's a bit like a cornbread, very crumbly, and buttery, kind of like a pound cake, but not as sweet as a pound cake. More kind of crumbly in texture. And there's a little bit of jam in the middle. I think it's raspberry. Hmm. Nice. It's a bit like a thumbprint cookie, but more bread-like. Potable. It's almost more like a little hat than a ball. And I'm not sure what's on the outside of this one. I don't know if that's sugar crystals or... It doesn't look like chopped nuts. It smells great. It smells chocolatey. So let's give that one a taste. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Same texture as the De La Soto ball in terms of the inside. Completely different outside. I think that is crystallized sugar. It has a really nice crunch. The middle is just kind of a chocolate flavor, a subtle kind of cocoa flavor. And I think I know what the texture is very much like. The texture is like a cake ball. Have you ever made cake balls before? I made a cake ball recipe. I'll put that link down below. Cake that's mixed up with frosting, so it's got more of a 
fudgy brownie like texture. How about a bowl? And this one is lighter in color. And I think it's got coconut on the outside. Mm, it smells great. Let's give that a taste. Mmm. 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 Now I can taste it. It has a little bit of dried coconut on the outside. Same kind of dense, cakey texture with a little bit of grittiness from the coconut and a little bit of crunch from I'm not sure what, but I suspect sugar. And then a touch of cinnamon. Really nice. Marabod, which I had in my other Swedish video as well. Um, I think it's a really big company in Sweden. It has a little Western element into it as well because it has Oreo in it. And this is how you open it. Spread it apart like that. It embossed with a letter M for Marabod. On the back, you can see a little bit of the Oreo cookie pieces coming through. It smells great and milk chocolatey. All right. Mmm. Nice quality milk chocolate. Very nice melty mouthfeel. Quite sweet, but it is milk chocolate. And then you get this really nice crunch of the Oreo cookies. It's difficult to kind of discern the Oreo cookie flavor in there because it's just enshrouded in milk chocolate. But it is a nice textural kind of combination of melty chocolate and crunchy cookie. So this is called Moloso. I've been pronouncing it Malaco, sorry. <laughs> Clubber. So these are adorable. This one is Froxo, which is a gummy candy I believe I've had before. Delicious. And this one's Pim Pim, which I had too. So cute, the sailboats. And Zoo. From what I remember, these were all Swedish treats that I had that came in tiny little boxes that looked kind of like raisin boxes, but more like fruit snacks that were just delicious. And I guess this is the lollipop form. So let's see, Zoo as I remember. The version that I got was a chimpanzee and it was red. And yes, it's kind of a pink color and a beautiful yellow stick. Mmm, it is the same flavor. It's like a fruit punch. Really nice, just like a hard candy. Um, tastes like Hawaiian punch. Delightful. And it's called Snora. And this is the caramel flavor. So I had a similar candy, I think, that came from Denmark. And it was similar, but not caramel flavor. That one was kind of like a cherry flavor. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Because it's about two feet long. One piece. And it's hollow. Can you see that? It's hollow. Hmm. It says caramel flavor, but it tastes a little bit more like vanilla. Same texture as licorice, though. Got a bit of a chewy bite. It tastes kind of vanilla and sweet. Very artificial. And a bit like a scented candle. Yeah. I don't think it's my favorite, <laughs> but delightfully fun. That's my big taste of Sweden. Thank you so much, Jesper, for sending me this great package of Swedish treats, including all these great cookies, cookies that I've never tasted before. And now I have to go see one of these Della Soto vending machines. It sounds spectacular. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys learned something, and I will see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care. Bye. Okay, so here is the finished solution. You get an entire gallons worth. So I can probably get two gallons out of $6.50 worth of material.